Stampers, I'm Sherry Cox, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I've had several requests on how I made this beautiful watercolor butterfly, so today I'm going to show you my technique. I took a class from Erica Sirwin, and I'm just kind of doing my own little thing here. So the first thing I'm going to show you is some of the different cards that I have created. The first one is done in Pumpkin Pie and Daffodil Delight. And then we have these two that are done in the same color but look like completely different cards. The colors that I used on these are Pacific Point and Daffodil Delight. And it depends on how you actually put the paint on your water and how it blends and that's how you're going to have the different um, colored effects on your cards. The last one I'm going to show you is done with our in colors and those two colors I used are Dapper Denim and Emerald Envy. Okay let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is you're going to take your butterfly thinlet you're going to place it on your cardstock and you're going to trace it in pencil lightly all the way on the inside. And that's what you will have when you get done with that. Next thing we're going to take your aqua painter and I am going to color or actually water all the way inside the lines. And you'll want to get this pretty wet, but what you don't want to do is go outside of the lines. So you're going to keep the water inside the lines because it kind of acts like a barrier. So if you just keep that on the inside, you're going to be doing good. And just turn your paper around if you have to so you can see about where you're at with this. Okay, so that should be pretty well coated with water. Just make sure it's pretty soaked. Okay, then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your stamp pads and the two colors I'm going to be using on this one are Pacific Point and Rich Razzleberry. So you can do one of two things. You can take your stamp pads and you can squeeze them to get the ink onto the other side or I like vibrant colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our Stampin' Ink refills and what I did was I squirted a little bit in each lid. And I'm gonna squirt a little bit more into the Razzleberry because it looks like that's getting a little bit dried up. Okay, so then you've got your paper towel handy. And you're going to take your, I'm going to work with the blue first. So I'm just going to not add too much water in there because you've got your butterfly already watered down. And you're just going to kind of softly drip it in there. Kind of looks like tie dyed. So you're just going to get that pretty much soaked into that butterfly. And I think that's enough blue, so I'm just going to brush my brush off a little bit, and then I'm going to dip it into the Razzleberry. Okay, so now with the Razzleberry, I'm going to run that right up to that line, trying to keep all of the paint within that line. Okay. 
and turn it if you need to. And we'll be doing a lot of blending in this, so right now I'm just trying to get this in the line. Actually, it really does not look that pretty right now, but trust me, when you're done, it's these are very beautiful cards. Okay, just about done with the line work here. Oops, sorry, I bumped my camera. Okay, so now that I've got the basic line in, then what you can kind of do is just mix it around a little bit. And maybe you want to add some more blue, which I will do here too. And the different colors you get is just amazing when this is dry. Okay, that looks good and I'm happy with that. So what I'll do is I'll set this aside to dry and usually I like to dry it anywhere from either overnight or at least a couple hours or you can use the heat tool on it too. Okay, so this one I did ahead of time and that is one that is completely dry and dry and such a beautiful color on there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Wink of Stella brush and go all the way around the outside. Just gives it that little hint of glitter on there. And that's a pretty fast process actually. And hopefully you can see that glitter on the camera. Next thing I'm going to do, and you can probably see a little bit of those sparkles on that, but I'll just show you what I did to create that. I'm just going to take my brush and you're going to add a little bit more water in here. And then you're just going to flick it off your brush like that. And that's how you get those spots on there. Okay, so everybody knows how to put a card together, but I will show you the final finish on this card. And this one is done in the same colors, the Pacific Point and the Raz Razzleberry. And what I've used here is the Dear Friend from the stamp set called Birthday Blooms, and I actually heat embossed that. And then I used a little bit of this thread here. And that is what I used on the background here. I just wrapped it around my fingers, did a little bit of figure eight. And then also with the dear friend, I used the um, thinlets called the lots of labels. So that's what I used to cut that particular thing out. I thank you very much for watching and hopefully you've learned some great tips from this. Thank you.